hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here my name is grace and this is scaling customer success where we share tips that can help you scale your career as a customer success enthusiast and grow your business as a business owner we've shared some amazing tips in the past so please feel free to go through the previous videos at your convenience in today's video we'll be discussing how you can get remote jobs and most especially remote jobs in customer success i need to mention that the tips i'll be sharing is also applicable to professionals in other field so if you have family friends or colleagues that will be interested in this kind of content please feel free to share with them so we all know that remote job is on the rise and I'll be sharing with you four tips that can help you land a very good opportunity or job offer in customer success. The first tip I'll be sharing is to review job boards. You can use Glassdoor, you can use We Work Remotely or LinkedIn. For Glassdoor, Glassdoor will give you reviews from past employees talking about the culture fit of the company you're applying to. And as well, you can get details about the salary range. It's only tricky getting details about salary range because the information might have been outdated so you need to stay on course to know what the salary range is currently or at the time you are applying for the role you can get details of interview questions either from past applicants previous employees or even current employees they will tell you the kind of questions they will ask during the interview and it can help you prepare better for we work remotely it can show you highlights of when the job was posted. You would know if the job was posted two days ago, 12 hours ago, and it can also help you to put in your application quickly before other applicants. LinkedIn helps you to follow recruiters. You can search for recruiters details and then click on follow. Another important thing that you can do with LinkedIn is, you can use the search bar on LinkedIn to search for remote jobs. For example, you type in customer success and then you use the filter option to search for remotes and it will give you the details of all remote jobs that are near you or the ones that are available globally importantly you should follow ceos that are likely to recruit in their companies you can go to companies websites for example you are interested in working at google or amazon you can go to their website and then search for opportunities that are available and use the filter option that are probably on their website to search for remote roles available in the companies so this is the first step and this takes me to the second step review job description and requirements it is important for you to do this because it helps you reduce your rate of rejection go through the technical skills required for the job the core skills required for the job what kind of past experience are the recruiters looking for and are you a good fit for this role because if you don't have relevant past experiences then it means that you might not likely be considered for the next stage so you need to make sure that your past experiences align with what the recruiters are looking for. This takes me to the third point. Update your resume and cover letter. You need to highlight the core skills. You know, you've, the second step, you've already gone through the requirements. So you need to make sure that your resume is in alignment with what your recruiters are looking for. What tools have they specifically mentioned that you can use or that you've used before? What core skills are they looking for or even soft skills? Make sure that you highlight it in this resume. Your past experiences, you put it in the resume and importantly, you put your previous achievements on your resume. Previous achievement that aligns with what they are looking for or what they are looking to achieve in their company. After you are done with this, write a very good cover letter. If you are required to write a cover letter, make sure that you all the points that you've listed in your resume you summarize everything in your cover letter so that it is relatable and it speaks to your experience directly then you can go ahead to apply and this takes me to the last point which is prepare for your interview 
while preparing for your interview of course it's a remote role so you know that you're likely to have a virtual interview the first thing you need to do here is make sure that you have a very good internet connection this will ensure that you have good flow of communication with your recruiters the second thing you need to do is have good lightning good lightning is important because if you are in a dark room then your recruiter will not be able to see you i've had personal experience with this and it wasn't a very good one so this is why i'm putting this out there to help somebody make sure that even if you don't have um good lightning you can get a table lamp or you can get a ring light to help you with the lightning another thing to note while you are doing your virtual interview is wear something that is comfortable you don't necessarily have to put on a tie or wear a suit for the interview if the company requires it fine do that but try as much as possible to wear something that makes you very comfortable and you don't have to start dragging your clothes or adjusting your clothes while you're having your interviews because it might distract you and make you miss out on some important conversation lastly make sure that you have a good environment or you are in a very quiet environment such that you can easily hear your interviewer and your interviewer can also hear you and there are no background noise one bonus point is to follow up you can use LinkedIn to follow up with your recruiters. LinkedIn is a good way. Connect with them on LinkedIn. After the interview, you can go on LinkedIn, search for their name and connect with them. You can send them an email to connect with them. I hope this tip is very helpful. Don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section, share with people and also like. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.